Is your relationship starting to feel more like a roommate situation than a romantic partnership? Today, we are diving deep into how to reignite that spark and to create more intimacy in your relationship because let's be real, your love life should be more fireworks than fizzle. Welcome back to the Strength of Seduction podcast, the number one resource for black couples who want to build intimacy, love, and connection in their relationship. I'm your host, Daniel DiPiazza. Now, if you're new here and you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, to subscribe, and to hit the bell for updates. And if you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform, for instance, like Apple or Spotify, make sure to subscribe and leave a review. Now, let's get into today's content. I want to really talk about this concept in pieces apart, peel, peeled apart a little bit, because before we dive in and get the details, I want to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Intimacy is more than just physical closeness. It's emotional, mental, and even spiritual. So if you're feeling disconnected, you're not alone. Today, we are going to explore actionable ways to create more intimacy in your relationship. And no, It's not just about what happens in the bedroom, my friends, okay? So first of all, let's talk about the language of love. And let's talk about specifically the love languages. Have you heard of these before? Knowing how your partner receives love can be a game changer for intimacy. And just to give some background on this, love languages are the ways that we express and receive love. They are like the dialects of the heart. And sometimes we're speaking different languages Without even realizing it, there's even a book called The Five Love Languages. You should look up this book, you know? So first, identify your love languages. And the five love languages are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. And if you just Google this quiz, there's a quiz to figure out which love language is yours. Learn that language and learn what your partner's love language is. Once you know each other's love languages, make an effort to speak to them regularly in that language. It's like learning a new dialect, but the rewards are much more immediate. Now, let's talk about emotional availability as a piece of this intimacy, because I think this is something that really goes overlooked, especially by men. It's a crucial but often overlooked aspect of intimacy as a whole. And being emotionally available means being open and willing to connect on a deeper level. It's the difference between being basically in the same room and being present. Does that make sense? Now, there is something called the check-in routine, and essentially what you want to do is make it a habit to check in with each other emotionally. Ask open-ended questions like, how are you really feeling today? What's coming up for you today? Not just simple, basic, like, how was your day? But really check in with where they are emotionally, your partner, and create a safe space, you know? For emotional availability to thrive, you need a judgment-free zone. So make your relationship a a space that's safe for sharing and for that vulnerability. Now, let's also talk about the power of physical touch. And this is the reason why we created Strength of Seduction, because a fundamental but often underestimated aspect of intimacy is just touching and being in close context or in close contact with your partner. And touch is one of the most primal forms of connection. It can communicate what words often can't. That's why all the exercises in our programs are about physical touch, specifically even just non-sexual touch, because not all touch has to lead to something more. Simple hand gestures like holding hands and hugging and, you know, and, and holding someone by the arm, they can go a, a long way in building intimacy. And, you know, especially for guys, it's really important to remember this. So try the touch challenge. Ch- challenge yourself to incorporate more touch into your daily routine. It could be as simple as a longer hug before leaving for work or for holding hands during a movie. A lot of people stop doing this when they get further into a relationship. Start it up again. Now, I also want to talk about quality conversations because quality conversations are the bedrock of intimacy in any relationship. And we often talk to our partners, but we don't often have meaningful conversations or we don't have them as much as we might need to have them in order to build that intimacy. How many of your conversations actually go beneath the surface, you know? So move beyond the how is your day routine. Dive into deeper topics like dreams and fears and aspirations. Those are the things that really drive us. And Create what I call the no distraction rule. Set aside time for conversations where you're both fully present. No phones, no TV, just undivided attention. Now, finally, I want to talk about shared experiences. And I want to really explore the value of these shared experiences because these 
build tremendous amounts of intimacy. And you really want to create a shared history through your shared experiences, which is the foundation of a deep, deep connection. And you can plan adventures, you know, whether it's a weekend getaway or whether it's uh, trying a new recipe together, shared experiences don't have to be grand. They can just be something that's simple but profound for both of you. I remember going to a cabin with my wife and it was such an amazing experience, you know. What about the memory lane that you guys can walk down together? Take some time to reminisce about your favorite memories. It's a great way to reignite that spark and to plan for future adventures, you know. All these are ways to build intimacy. And if you love today's content, make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube as well as on your favorite podcast platform for weekly tips to make your relationships happier, to make them healthier, to make them more intimate. All the links are below in the video description or in the podcast notes if you're listening to this. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to join our free newsletter at www.strengthofseduction.com and follow us on Instagram at Strength of Seduction for more awesome material like this. As usual, I'm Daniel DiPiazza, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.